Good morning, a warm welcome to Anand Anand All. Today we are going to learn the topic Diary Starter Culture and Introduction. So in this topic, first we will see what is the definition of Diary Starter Culture. These are selected microorganisms that are intentionally added to milk to create desired changes or to initiate fermentation. So these are organisms in our custody, and we purposefully added this organism into milk to have desired product of desired characteristics. So coming to the history, in 1857, Louis Pasteur, who demonstrated that lactic acid fermentation is of microbial origin, and later in 1878, Joseph Pasteur, he was successful in isolating this lactic acid bacteria for the first time, and that was named as Bacterium lactis, and presently it is known as Lactococcus lactis subspecies lactis. That paved the way for the commercialization of production of starter culture, as well as create a history in the fermented milk product manufacture. And these are the roles and functions of starters. The primary function is to produce lactic acid, the key acid in fermented milk products as well as in case of cheese. And other functions are flavor production, gas formation, exopolysaccharide production, lipolysis and proteolysis, very important in case of uh, characteristics of cheese, and microbial effect. Some bacteria can produce bacteriocin, etc. And we will see the classification of diary starters. So based on composition, this can be classified as single strain, mixed strain, multiple strain, paired compatible strain. And based on flower production, these are again classified into BL type, D type, BD or L type, or O or N type. And we will see, we will learn this classification of diary starters and their functions in more detail in coming class. And today we will see. Oh, the commercial or product perspective classification of diary starters. I am giving more focus on this. So two aspects are there. One is based on growth temperature. So in that criteria, mesophilic cultures are there and thermophilic cultures are there. Mesophilic cultures are nothing but they have the or optimum growth temperature is around 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. That is the room temperature. And thermophilic culture 40 to 45 degrees Celsius because they prefer to grow in an elevated temperature conditions. So the heat culture that is generally our home made dehi that is uh, consisting of mesophilic cultures mostly and set curd that or yogurt that are made up of thermophilic cultures and based on end product is production these are again classified into homofermentative heterofermentative and heterolactic fermentative so homofermentative as you know the name suggests lactic acid is the key or sole end product and heterofermentative there is carbon dioxide and alcohol are produced in addition to lactic acid and heterolactic fermentative there is additional acids along with the lactic acid like acetic acid and formic acids are there so this is the summary of uh, the previous slide so morphologically two type coke and uh, roads are there so they are again homofermentative and heterofermentative in each category so again they are thermophiles mesophiles as we learned so these are the examples of different organisms and we will learn this organism in detail in coming classes okay thank you thank you very much